Hey everyone, this is Prince Watercrass, and welcome back to Let's Play Bugs Bunny Lost in Time for the Sony PlayStation 1. In the last episode, we explored more of Hey What's Up Doc, and we got to this island. Along the way, we collected more golden carrots and more clocks. And we have four clocks, 15 golden carrots, and we have four of the crates broken. We are exactly where we need to be as far as collectibles are concerned up to this point now last time we kicked that steering wheel kicking again to confirm we did and we had yet to go into this rabbit hole let us go ahead and hit this checkpoint and guess what this wasn't open before that's what that steering wheel we kicked just before the end of the last video was for and by going over here, we can fight off two more crabs. And we should be able to kick another steering wheel. However, there is a chest here, and I do want to kick that, too. Because inside, is a clock. <laughs> Let's go ahead and kick the steering wheel and then open up some more of this. Now, we will have to go back which means we're going to have to kick a bone out of this bucket and I was holding circle game how am I supposed to know that I was that close to the edge okay Oh, that's right, apparently I can't tiptoe while carrying an object. Good to know. Now we get to go back. I think that's how this works now. If I can grab this, that would be great. So apparently you can't tiptoe while holding an object. That's kind of weird. Thought maybe you could, but nope, the game doesn't let you do it. Now, on our way back, as we're backtracking, we should be able to find another place that we can get to. And when you're going over here again, you'll notice that these rock platforms, or at least you'll remember that these rock platforms suddenly exist. And, whoa. Whoa you'll need to jump to them in order to get over there. Before I do anything else, I do not want to go through all that again. So we're going to check we're going to trigger this checkpoint again. And sure, I'll save. Hello, travel hair. Let me save your position. I know he's trying to say travel hair, but again, it sounds like something completely hey, different. Uh Okay, let us go over to here. We have four of these crates that we need to stack up. And along the way, we will have to deal with the crabs. This one's easy to deal with. The other one, not so much. And I'd like to get my hands on some carrots as I do this too. Thankfully, I can jump over to here, but I can't jump over the there. Yeah, I can't jump over the there. That's weird. They seem like they're about the same height. Anyway, let's get the both. Let's get both of the carrots out of this thing, out of this crab, and let us move on over to the steering wheel and kick that out of the way. Now, we will be going there eventually, but I have some things that I want to do. If you kick this chest at least once or twice, you'll get a golden care out of it. And there's another one you can kick also for a golden carrot, if I can find it. I know that I'll find it eventually. 
There we go. This probably isn't the place I should be stacking this at, but... Well... If it isn't, I'll show you where you're supposed to stack it. And it's a good thing that the game is a little generous on helping you get over all of the crates so you can climb on them. Though it can be a little tricky sometimes. You just gotta jump into the crates and hope you land in the side of one of them. Also, inquiring minds want to know, can you carry four of these at once? Interesting. So, you can grab four of these at once and do better than Snoopy at Snoopy's Silly Sports Spectacular, but you can't grab a ledge. This game, man. Also, there is no... Yeah, there's no reason to be up there. Okay. Do we need to put the crates over here? I'm curious now. I doubt we do. Yeah, we don't even need to put the crates over there. Alright. Now, we should be looking for another treasure chest somewhere. Should be somewhere. There it is. And hey, there's five crates. I guess you only really needed four. Huh. Interesting. Well, we're pretty much done here, I think. Am I going forward or am I going back? We're going to find out. Okay, we're going forward because we're looking at that. Now here, it's the bomb throwing guy again. This time he goes between three crow's nests. And you have to throw bombs at him. As you throw bombs at him, and avoid throwing your bombs at the, guy, at the bombs that this guy throws, creating a mid explosion in the process, you, this guy will slowly run out of crow's nests. Now thankfully you don't have to... Where'd he go? I can't rotate the camera. Thanks for the fixed perspective game. As you're doing this, you will eventually run out of crow's nests. And I think I was off on that. Now, if he would stop throwing a bomb that is flashing, that would be great. That's four in a row. Come on. Oh, good grief. Do I have to move farther? I do. And neither of those hits. That's amazing. But he's running out of crow's nest pretty soon. He is down to just the one. And... I wish the bombs weren't so random. And apparently these things can flash in your hand. Good to know. Now, along the way, how are we doing? Okay, we have seven of nine. I'm missing one. I'm missing one somewhere. Because the next area is a boss battle. And something's up. I need to look around this area again, because I may be missing something. That's open. That's open. Something is up. I feel like I missed something. Oh, it's right here. That's why. That was not open. Let's go ahead and get that.
There's the clock. Yeah, it's a good thing I paused before I went over there, because... That is the last area. That is where we will face Yosemite Sam. Spoiler alert, we're going to have a boss battle after we get to... Where that island is after that... Bomb-throwing guy battle. And from here... We can go over to the rabbit hole. And we can have ourselves another part of the stage. We are not done with this stage yet. And over here, you can't move the camera. And it's pretty much like that one... Really? It's like that one boss battle. It's like that one boss battle from... Donkey Kong 64. The one with the jack-in-the-box. Pirate Sam will, will shoot two cannonballs at you, then go, mm, and throw this cake of dynamite at you. Grab it, face Sam, throw it. It'll land in front of Sam, and he'll take damage. Now he'll destroy a bunch of platforms at one time temporarily. First it'll be two, then it'll be three, then it'll be four, then it'll be five. The platforms do eventually come back. Then he shoots the two cannonballs, throws the keg. You know what to do. Doesn't matter what distance you are away from him. Apparently, our good friend Bugs Bunny here has the best pitching arm this side of... Really? Really? I was trying to think of the name of a baseball pitcher, but I can't really think of any off offhand. And thankfully, in case you die at any point during the battle, you don't have to worry about losing any of your progress, because... The health bar never fills back up, which is great. And yeah, you could be all the way back here. And Bugs Bunny will throw this keg with perfect accuracy. It's incredible. And yeah, whenever he hits a platform, it will sink down. It will eventually come back, but still. You want to be careful. You don't want to stand around on one platform for too long. Once it gets hit. Yosemite Sam takes five hits to the feet. And apparently I got hit by the cannon ball. Did not think I would give myself that hard a time. And I should have waited. At least this game is easy for kids to play just as long as they can put up with the weird camera angles. And this will be the last keg that we will ever have to throw at him. Not my best Yosemite Sam battle, but at least it's better than the Elmer Fudd one overall for sure. And once we beat Pirate Sam... We will get a clock. Don't forget to pick it up on the way out. Because it is easy to forget. And you cannot kick the cannon to make a cannonball come out. Thought I'd try. But we are now done with everything so far. We have 55 golden carrots, 20 clocks all together. We have everything in the stage. We are now to 16%. Let's go ahead and exit. And head back to the pirate years. Great. Just perfect. You have completed this level. Ooh. Let me save your position. Well, indeed. So, 
We are now done with the pirate years for now. Let's look around just a little bit more in case I need to pick anything else up. Like maybe there's another golden carrot that takes like 99 regular carrots to pick up. As you can see, there isn't, but we do have levels that we can't enter yet. Oh, there is one here. Hmm. Maybe I can play around and um, get something done here, maybe. That'd be nice. What exactly is this? Okay, that's right. That's for the super jump ability. Forgot. Um, what do I want to do? I know I can go for the golden carrot, so I might as well do that now. Now that I have two-thirds of everything that I need, but of course that's going to be a pain. Maybe I can get everything here. I can always go through the first part of the level, and from there... I can always... Oh, I am so close. I did not know I had like 78 when I came back. That's incredible. And that's that the, that the one that was the one that contained the golden carrot. No wonder I got nothing out of it. Okay. Let's get rid of you. And of course the crates reset. I don't know if kicking them now will get, you, get me anything, but... I'll look into it, now that I'm near one, and I know where it is. And, let's see here. Let us go ahead. Love that the crates drop down right there in the distance. Okay, they do. I forgot that they did. Wondering if I, if I can still get something out of them, and thankfully the answer is yes. And as much as I would like to play the bonus game again and just try, try to keep getting the normal carrot, I'm not going to do that. And in case I didn't make it clear, if you're facing the steering wheel, you're facing the front of the chests. That's pretty much how it works. In case my directions weren't clear from last time. Okay. Let's get everything here. And... Let's go ahead and jump on these things one at a time here. Make sure we can get all the carrots. It's a good thing, and I can't believe I'm saying this again, but it's a good thing that these things never fall off ledges. I do like that. Makes everything so much easier. All right. Well, looks like I'm going to have to do the target thing again just to get this. Can't believe you have to do this more than once. And let's see here. There we go. Wish you could get over there. That would help. And can't believe that landed right on me. That's gonna, probably going to... Oh, it didn't hit me. I'm surprised. Surprised it did not hit me. Let us go ahead and... Try not to get horribly maimed as we do this. I said let's try and not get horribly maimed as we do this. This can be the one of the harder parts. Just because it's really easy to drop the torch... Just from doing something you shouldn't and accidentally drop, accidentally run into a barrel. 
which I di I wish didn't happen. And here we go. Let's go ahead and tire this guy out. Kick him. I should be able to get some more carrots out of this guy. That's the hope. Oh, he just he just dropped a golden carrot. Oh well. And gotta remember to hold R1 and get over here. That was another golden carrot chest. How am I doing on these? 92. Okay. I have to say, there should be something around here. Thankfully, there was. It's the steering wheel. I know that thing has a name other than steering wheel, but I can't think of it at the moment. Anyway. If I can just get rid of these crabs. Oh, that'll make it a little easier. If I can just kick that crate, I should be able to get something. And I think there's another crab around here. No? Okay, there isn't. Okay, there isn't. Interesting. Should be able to use this now, though. Okay. Can we jump? Yeah, we're not going to be able to jump to there. Not from there. Not with not with two crates. We may have to use all four. Let's see what we can do here. And we we got over there. I thought was that was going to give me. I thought that was actually going to give me three, or not three, but five carrots. Not that much, apparently. Let's place you over here. And you over here. And I should be able to get this. Now, you were a clock, if I remember correctly. Yeah, you were a clock. And let's go ahead. And try to get that carrot that's up there as well. Assuming that the game doesn't give me weird camera angles like this. I'm enjoying the game so far. I will have to admit. It's just really weird that this game gives me weird cam really it's just really weird this game gives me weird camera angles that I'm pretty much forced to work with okay I guess we have to go right here then of course I'll probably have to grab these throw them and then put them in smaller stacks. Good thing I had that whole corner to throw the crates at to work with. As I was saying, I'm really enjoying the game so far. It's just there are there are flaws, obviously, but I think even with the flaws, they can easily this game can easily be enjoyed. Yeah, I'm supposed to go this way. Oh, this is the part where I have to carry the cr carry the crate across. The getting hit, isn't it? Uh, things I have to do for one golden carrot. And I know that you can still do the edge jump with something in your hand, but I'm really not in the mood of... I accidentally threw it when I meant to put it away. And that enemy there, you can't tire him out. You can't 
get rid of him in any way. You just kind of have to put the crate down with R1 and then deal with it. I accidentally threw the crate because I don't know how the controls in this game work. Well, I can stun him. Oh, you can get rid of him that way. Apparently, you have to hit him from behind and he just doesn't mess with you. Interesting. And why do I still have only 98? Anyway, let's go ahead and get further into the level here. Hopefully, the crab or crabs uh, stop. Hopefully the crabs will give me the carrots that I need. Why are you not giving me 99? That is really weird. It's like the game did not want to give me 99. Well, anyway, let's go ahead and exit the level. Is the game actually doing a thing where... I'm forced to grab more carrots just to bring the carrot count up by one? Because if it is, that's really weird. Anyway, let's go ahead and grab this. And be done with this already. And from here, I can go ahead and check and see. Wrong place. I can go ahead and check and see where I need to go for the next area. All right, we had the pirate years, and now we have the 1930s, which means Rocky shows up again. Haven't seen him since Crazy Castle 3. And we have a golden carrot for just 99 carrots again. And apparently, kicking these things seemingly does nothing, but maybe we'll do that in the next area. The big bank withdrawal. Six clocks and 15... Golden Carrots. Of course, we're going to have to pick up even more things if we want to take care of stuff. If we want to go to other areas. I don't see... Hmm. I keep thinking there's going to be a... Uh, Merlin cap in the overworld when there isn't. So I can't really save my game at this point, but I can stop it here and carry on in the next video. Oh, that light really does go on and off in that window. Okay, I thought I was seeing things. Join me next time where we go to the big bank withdrawal and see if we can survive the 1930s. Until then, this is Prince Watercress. Take care, stay safe, and thanks for watching!